of the 15-year-old Reedsburg boy who died during a 40-day fast last September is sentenced to six years in prison. TTIO Omasebi will serve three years initial confinement and three years probation. Our Jamie Perez joins us live from the Sauk County Courthouse with the details of the case. Jamie? Omosebi's attorney had asked for no time in prison, only probation. His reasons for that cited no, uh, non-criminal intent and cultural differences that she had. But the court says that the death of a child does not deserve to go unpunished. In an emotional statement in court, TTIO Omosebi took responsibility for the death of her son from a fast the family was doing for 40 days last September. This is a very tragic mistake on my part. She's soft-spoken, but she said this was a tragic event that caused her a lot of trauma. She said she made a terrible mistake and that she loves her children, that her family belongs together, and now they are nothing, and what she did was wrong. The court does not in any way doubt Ms. Omosebi's remorse. The court in no way doubts the apology that she's given here today. I do believe it is true. I do believe that it is heartfelt. The fact uh, that the defendant's older son died as a consequence of her behavior is as serious as it gets to the court. Omosebi's attorney had asked the judge for probation only, saying that she did not have a criminal intent, was a victim herself as she also participated in the fast, and that cultural differences played a role. I'm grateful that the judge considered all the arguments. I, I still believe that she should not be going to prison. I know it's an absolutely tragic case, and the death of a child is so serious, but uh, her remorse, the tragic circumstances that TTIO exhibited, uh, I would have hoped that she would have gotten probation. The judge said that prison time was needed for a case like this and had authorities not stepped in when they did, things could have been worse. In a somewhat ironic way, the death of the older brother saved his younger brother's life. And as pointed out here today, it most likely saved the defendant's life. Omosebi's husband is also being charged and is going through the court system as well. The 11-year-old surviving son is being taken care of by a foster family. All right, Jamie Perez reporting live in Sauk County. Jamie, thanks.